Hey, what's good, y'all? It's your boy DJ Fanatic at SoundsForProducers.com. In today's video, you get to watch me talk. <laughs> anyway, today's video is about what platform should I sell my beats on? Now, this is for all producers that do the online beat selling thing. Uh, there's other other revenue streams for producers. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on that later, but this is more like, should I choose Airbit or should I choose BeatStars? Now, um, also, I think Track Train, but I'm not really familiar with that. But before I get into that, make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit that sub button, hit the bell as well, because I got some more heat for you, more videos planned for the channel. And thank you for our subscribers. So, without further ado, here's an intro. Airbit or BeatStars? What should you choose to sell your beats on? Now, this has been going, this battle or this uh, discussion has been going for quite some time, a uh, long time. And this is an unbiased um, video uh, to kind of give you the pros and cons of which platform. Or maybe something else I have to offer, or something else I recommend, or in addition to that. So, um, Airbit, uh, which used to be my flash store, um, I wasn't familiar with it years ago, uh, maybe three or four years, uh, let's see, yeah, about four years, uh, BeatStars, I was familiar with it probably like three, no, more than that, man, it's been about the same time, that's crazy, uh, Track Train, I'm not familiar with, I think there's another one, of course, um, SoundClick. I think I still have an old account on there too, but I don't really use SoundClick. Um, shout out to the producers that still use it, and actually it's still bringing them money, income, you know, for their family and whatnot. Um, I'm not knocking it, but it's not for me. Uh, speaking for me, what's for you? Um, what I do recommend, instead of choosing Airbit or BeatStars, is to like, go with your gut. You know, this is the type of advice that I would give you. Um, feel out like what do you feel more comfortable with like do you feel more comfortable with beat stars because of you know the type of producers that they have that um, you know uh, work on their platform um, how about all the content videos they put up and just the overall producer community or Airbit uh, do you like you know like some of the I think it's the infinity store um, that they came out with and how they promote beats and stuff and also some some of the other um, features that they have as far as um, organizing your beats and stuff and stat data and stuff like that um, the real th thing I you know I would like to share with you or recommend is like don't think this or that B stars or Airbit it's like, you know, the Whopper or the Big Mac, or BMW or Mercedes, or, I don't know, uh, Apple or Android, Canon or Nikon. I don't know if I mispronounced that. You know, or, you know, FL Studio or Logic, or Reason or Ableton. Shout out to everybody who's on programs. Uh, and I'm a Mercedes, man. I don't know, I've been looking at some nice BMWs. But anyway, that's besides the point. Don't think that if you can afford it, don't think this or that. Think this and that. And see which one works for you better, you know? Like, what features you like better. Uh, I mean, the bottom line, if you're selling music online, your end goal is to make money from it. But you also want to, you know, reverse your mind and think about how much value you give somebody. You know, you don't want to just sell a beat and you never speak to them again. You know, and you don't know who bought your beat. You don't know if they ever recorded on it. You don't know. I mean, sometimes you'll never know that. But you kind of, it's an impersonal thing. So you can also consider selling your beats firsthand, like the old school way, where it's just straight emailing. You know, you see an artist or whatever, you DM them. Hey, you need some beats? No, I don't need no beats right now, but hey, man, your stuff is cool, whatever. 
you know, send me something for free or whatever, and I'll check it out. You know, that connection between your customer and you is, is priceless. So you can do it that way, or you're just doing emails and you just use straight PayPal for payment, or whatever. It's more time consuming. Um, these two platforms do have like an automated system where you don't even have to worry about that. But what I'm getting at is like, a lot of people just want to say this or that. And like, when you think about major, major like McDonald's or Burger King or KFC and Taco Bell, actually that's a good example because KFC and Taco Bell, if you notice, they, I think it's under the same company and they put it in the same building in some locations, in the same franchise. So you can get both different, you can get Mexican or fried chicken at the same establishment. So that is kind of what I'm getting to, getting to, is like you can have them both, but see which one works for you better, which one you gravitate to more. Like for instance, um, let's say, I don't know, you like um, the color scheme of B-Star. You know, the red and black and, and white. Maybe you like that better than a bit purple or bluish. Maybe you like that better. <laughs> I know that's shallow, but you know, on a deep level, subconsciously, we think certain ways about certain colors, like this color in the background. You know, it's changing different colors, it should. Yeah, so different colors affect people differently. So, and that's also used in marketing, but I don't wanna get besides the point. Um, it, and you can use this instead of this or, or that, try this and that, and see what, what helps you get to the results that you want to get to. So for instance, um, let's say you post the same beat on both platforms, right? And you notice that you're getting more plays on one platform than the other. Maybe it's, you know, the marketplace. Maybe it's the built-in marketplace. Maybe it's, you know, let's say you share that beat from one of the platforms, um, you know, on your social media, whatever, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever and you got more response on one platform than the other. So you gotta kinda, and you did all the same things. So you kinda have to like use this data to get a better understanding. Um, let's say you chose one beat and you put it on one platform and you promoted it. And you take the same beat, put it on the other platform and you promoted it. And look at your results. Look how many plays you got, look how many sales you got. Uh, look at the dates of, um, plays like how many plays I got this date how many plays I got that day you're you're comparing the two uh, platforms because you posted the same thing and at this well kind of the same time I don't think you can post it at the exact same time but the same day maybe you just did it back to back and you're getting totally different results from something else so that could be just one reason to lean towards something else but this is better at that so you gotta have to like not think this or that, if you can afford it. You know, some people can't afford it. Some people say they can't afford it and they really can. Like, man, I ain't gonna pay that much for uh, two different platforms or whatever. Um, it's totally up to you. But what I'm getting at is like, even with your, your marketing, like don't think just because someone's marketing this way, you have to do it that way and only that way. You can try that and try that you know it's the and instead of the or and that's just something really powerful you gotta kinda consider or at least try out you know get out of that mind frame as in you know I gotta do it this way or I gotta do it that way so you know both uh, platforms are dope um, I highly uh, also recommend you know you having your stuff you know outside of a platform so that way just in case you know you have your options you know what I'm saying so and that way you're keeping your music well you, you should definitely have your music stored somewhere other than a, another platform just for safety you know especially you know you're sending stuff out to artists labels and you want to be able to get access to your stuff and keep it organized you know, you gotta have the, the year, the month, the date, the genre, the BPMs, whatever way organizing system that you want, keep it organized. 
That way you can um, send music. Uh, you can find what you need very quickly. So, Airbit <laughs> or BeatStars, which one? Yeah, I'm too animated for this video. But anyway, there's no or. It's only what is good for you. Like, whatever speaks to you in your gut, like whatever you feel that will work for you and your business, go for it. If both of them are working for you, st stick with it. If one's not working, cut it for a while and focus on one. You know, it's like, kind of like, for instance, with, with the Burger King, I mean with the Big Mac and the and, uh, um, Whopper example, um, some days you want a Whopper. I like Whoppers, they're good. They're not healthy for me, <laughs> especially after drinking alcohol. But, um, and then maybe you want a Big Mac. I haven't had a Big Mac in a long time. But maybe you want, you know what? I want some nuggets. But I want Chick-fil-A nuggets. So you want McDonald's nuggets, Chick-fil-A nuggets. It changes, you want both of them. You know, if you're really hungry, you, you'll take either or. But what I'm saying is you can have both. But sometimes this might please you better than this would at a certain time. So hopefully I didn't confuse you because I'm starting to confuse myself. Um, remember and and not just or. Because you can try different things and, and get different results. And you can stop things that aren't working for you. Um, and the automation, the beat selling game is, is just amazing. I w definitely want to give you guys value and girls uh, value in these videos. And hopefully I, I opened your mind up to something, you know, that's been debated for years. And uh, just a little note, shout out to my BeatStars fam. Appreciate y'all. So, again, it's been DJ Fanatic at SoundsForProducers.com. This has been my mostly unbiased um, video. And it, actually, it doesn't matter what platform you're on. Um, I know um, the intentions are good on both ends. And the good thing is you're making music. And it doesn't matter where you're selling your music. You're a producer. You love music. I love music. I love making sounds, as you can see. Um, I love producing music. I love just just experimenting with things. And you have that passion as well, you know? And nobody can take that passion away from you. And you have that talent too. You have a talent. And you're developing more skills and more marketing things. And you wanna, it doesn't matter where you're selling your music. I mean, it does and it doesn't. Like if it's working for you, stick with it. If you wanna try something new, try both. Um, or experiment with different marketing and different you know, uh, release schedules and all that, whatever. It, there's a lot, but what I'm trying to say is not or, think and. So, if I haven't said that enough, it's been your boy DJ Fanatic from SoundsForProducers.com. Got that free loop pack in the description below. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you learned something or if you laughed at me, it's all good because laughter is good for the soul. And uh, I needed to laugh today, so thank you for helping me laugh at myself. Catch you in the next video. <laughs> Peace.